friends welcome back thank you for tuning in again another episode of the backyard warrior and here I have some chuck roast around four pounds almost four pounds and we're gonna make some beef carnitas today so first thing to do is we're gonna cut this piece into oh that's a beautiful roast now I feel bad cutting it for carnitas. It's one piece. But, like I said, we're gonna cut it into small pieces and dry brine it with salt, let it, let it sit in the fridge overnight, and tomorrow we're gonna fry it in some beef tallow. And of course, we're gonna add some aromatic to it to make it taste good. Usually, uh, carnitas are made with pork, but I don't eat pork, so. I'm using beef chuck, and I'm sure there's a lot of older people that don't eat pork. They can do that as well. This chuck roast is choice great. Still has a little bit of fat, so we're not getting rid of the fat. Last piece. get rid of that silver skit since it's not gonna cook. So for the dry brine I'm using diamond kosher salt, my favorite salt to use. I just go liberally, coat all sides. Pretty easy cook, nothing fancy. You just need a pot and some beef tallow and a burner. Welcome back friends. This is the next day and to cook my carnitas I have to melt some tallow in here. This tallow was smoked with some brisket I did a while ago so it will add a little bit of a smokiness to these carnitas so once this is melted it's come to a boil I put in the carnitas fry them and reduce the heat and cook it for a couple hours maybe a few hours uh, maybe this tallow won't be enough I might add a little bit more so now my beef tallow coming up to temp time to drop those carnitas fry them and of course once we drop them the temp will drop significantly so my carnitas took on a nice color sweated a lot of moisture from the dry brine overnight in the fridge now it's time to drop them in the beef towel this is where long tongues come in handy So 90 minutes went by and the beef carnitas 
put on a beautiful color. All of them. So here I have a bunch of spices. These black peppercorn. Some cloves. Black cardamom seeds. Canela, Ceylon cinnamon. And blade of mace. This goes well with beef. Same thing with cardamom. These two pair well with beef. And I have some bird's eye chilies. Bay leaves. You can use chili, the olive oil if you want. You can omit the chili if you don't want to. Uh, we're using some oranges for tenderness. Onions, white onion. A bulb of garlic I cut in half. And of course, for color and flavor, Mexican cola. This has cane sugar instead of high fructose syrup. I have my basket here for all the spices and garlic. So we're gonna dump everything in here. This way it's easy to fish out all this stuff instead of straining it and all of that. Everything goes in a basket. The garlic, the skin, everything. Now, close this thing and it sits on the edge of the pot. Now squeeze in my oranges. Got everything in here. These are washed. Sip. Mm. The whole thing. And now we're gonna let it boil for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for a few hours. Four hours into this cook, I think my carnitas are done. Very nice color, tender. Now we're gonna drain these from the beef tallow and shred them. Using two forks shred this oh the smell that comes out of these carnitas man this is beautiful right there all right you should be good for now moment of truth mm, 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 mm. oh man this is beautiful you use a little bit of mud and salt to finish it. Carnitas. Hefty size. Salsa roja. Raw onions. Some crunch. A bit of cilantro. Mm, 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 mm. Oh wow, this is great. This reminds me of the beef cheek tacos I made a while ago. Let's see. 
beef cheek is a little tender. Alright. Thank you for tuning in again. Until the next one, stay safe and bye bye.